That's the first time I've ever gotten her to eat out of my hand. Being really friendly. <laughs> it's 97 degrees out today. The last couple days it's been about 100 degrees, give or take. Let's go check on the buffalo and see where they're at. I bet you they're in the middle of the field, no shade, enjoying the sun. Look at that. I was right. In the middle of the field, not in the shade, just chilling out. see us right now and we're upwind from them so let's see if we can sneak up a little closer before they see us see coyote right in the pond right over there they all have their eyes closed and are downwind from us He's just chilling in the pond and everybody else is hanging out in the field. There they go, they saw us now. 78, she's looking at us now. Coyote's still in the pond, chilling out. I think uh, that's the spot I would wanna be. He is just relaxing. Look at him stretching. We interrupted his cool bath. These guys are really funny. They will often, in hot days like this, I mean, we're almost at 100 degrees today, and you'll find them in the middle of the field, just chilling out, um, not in the shade or anything like that. It's really funny, but if there is water, they'll uh, be sitting in water oftentimes. My last herd, I had a pretty good sized pond and man, they would just go swimming on these hot, hot days. It's really, really fun to watch. I absolutely love how these bison adapt so well to their environment. That's one of the really big benefits to raising them is they actually have them all the way from Hawaii to Alaska. They will uh, weather 30 below zero temperatures and then when it gets really hot out, they shed their coat and it doesn't bother them either. I'm going to take and burn one of these because they say that the Indians burned this for fuel and it's smokeless. And I wanna try it someday. Uh, I've heard of guys doing it and they say that the smell that you get out of it is actually completely different um, depending upon the, the uh, chip. And they say it can be like all the way from like a nutty smell to um, like sweet. So I really wanna try it. One of these days I'm gonna try that these are starting to get dry enough to do that now. One of the things that's good about them drinking out of this instead of the uh, city water is they actually go through a lot less minerals. They're out here in the beginning field that I had them uh, just kind of chilling out. They've got a lot more grass up top, but they've been ju just kind of chilling out up here during this hot weather, I think just because it's closer to the water. Oh, hey, what's new? Broken insulators. So I actually have a different kind here. This is the kind that I use on the wood posts and the metal posts, um, but you can use them on the T posts too. So I'm gonna try these to see if they're a little bit more sturdy. Cracked. It 
These wild roses are really pretty growing out in the middle of the field. The raspberries are almost ready. Maybe a couple more days. A little tart still. A couple more days. Summer is in full swing. So this is how we normally use these type of clips. We either screw these to this metal post or to wood posts. But they seem a little sturdier to me and they actually made that they have a clip on the back side of these to go on to T-posts. So hopefully they last a little longer maybe. Well, they're down at the bottom of the hill. Let's go ahead and call them up and uh, give them some range cubes. That is the closest I have get, ever gotten to white feather. guys are really friendly today.
That's the first time I've ever gotten her to eat out of my hand. This is uh, Red Prairie. Being really friendly. <laughs> She's gonna eat my hand off. Eighty-eight's being real friendly too. Yeah, it's kind of funny, guys. Uh, they kind of go in spurts. They go in spurts to where they have different moods, and they're really, really friendly today. Not sure why. You know, hand feeding Red Prairie is really fun. Uh, that was a blast to be able to do that. But you still want to think about your safety, and you want to think about what would happen if went, something went wrong, and where would you go. So you're always thinking about that. Yeah, I'm not sure if the heat has something to do with it or not, but they're all in a very friendly mood and uh, don't seem aggressive at all. Just seem very, very curious. Red Prairie just came up to me and ate out of my hand, no problem. She was a little timid at first, but other than that, she seemed fine. Coyote, on the other hand, is still cautious. This is Red Prairie here, and then you have strong wind right over here. They like to uh, hang out with coyote quite a bit. She seems awfully friendly. She's a good girl. She's about, oh, 500 pounds or so right now. I'll tell you what, man, they are just really, really good animals. A lot of times, um, a really big animal will actually be a little bit more aggressive. Um, but these guys are really strong, real healthy, and large, but yet they're really good temperament, really tame. It makes raising these guys a heck of a lot easier, I'll tell you that. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out our website, it's brokenarrowbison.net. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are Broken Arrow Bison. My name is Noah Gordon, and we will see you next time.